My name is Brad Pounders. My current project is uh, working on a full-length album. I, I've lived in Memphis for the majority of my life. So I've lived here, grew up here, went to high school here, all of that. At one point, the, the plan was to, I was gonna move to LA. I was gonna move to LA, move with my friend, get into the music out there, be in a band, be a rock star, all that stuff. That I was of the age where I was like, I'm gonna be a rock star. One word answer, what's the Memphis music scene like now? Unsure. But it's consistently unsure and it will change just like it always has and it will find itself right now it's in this it's a I think it's in a flux period of, i'm not quite sure what is what it's very very punk oriented very hard very fast very loud very scream very angry memphis prides itself markets itself feels itself talks about itself as birthplace of rock and roll, home of, the, home of the blues, all of blues and rock and roll. And those are all good things, but it, it, it's, there is a, there's a depth to Memphis music, and there's a history that's real and deep and, and, and important. For 10 years, I did not play at all. I mean, not a note, nothing. And I, I didn't listen to the radio. I listened to no music, I refused it. And then about four years ago, it just kind of hit me. I, I couldn't not play. And uh, I was trying to figure out ways to, what, what, what to do with the playing. Because am I gonna start a band? Am I gonna make a record? Am I gonna, what am I doing? So uh, <laughs> I thought, well, okay, uh, I'll be a songwriter for somebody. I'll write country songs, right? And I'll sell them to people in Nashville. It spurred me on to start you know, writing in the kind of that style. And it ended up being that it wasn't really that style. And it ended up being that there's more to it. And then it ended up being, wait a second, I'm back. I recognized from, from the prior playing that it, it, it was now emotional and real. And that I had something to say and had a lot of experience and started tapping into it. And that's kind of, that's where it led me to, to be brutally honest uh, in everything that I, that I write. I can only judge myself so far, but I do believe in my music. I'm humble about it, but I'm also very true to it, and I'll fight for it. I know songwriters say, well, you know, I want to tell my story, I want to tell my truth, and it's about my experiences, and with that, and, and that's, that's, that's good. Somehow or another, though, for me, it's, it's, it's intensely personal and intensely extroverted at the same time. There's no 